Today on Football Daily, we've put together a team of the dirtiest footballers of the modern era. Goalkeeper Jens Lehmann. Between the sticks is Borussia Dortmund legend and Arsenal invincible Jens Lehmann. He was both brilliant and a maniac, picking up plenty of yellow cards and seven reds over his career, including one in a Champions League final. And the opposition weren't the only ones afraid of him, as he apparently used to bollock Thierry Henry for not running enough. Defender Pepe You won't believe this, but Pepe only has eight career red cards. The Portuguese centre-back has two La Liga titles and a Champions League medal, but still always seems to be on the verge of murdering someone with his impressive repertoire of hacks, elbows and stamps. If he's not on the bench, he's in the book. Defender Martin Keown The second invincible in the team, Martin Keown is a North London legend and would do a decent job if he could stay on the pitch. 69 yellow cards and 7 reds speak for themselves, but Keown is probably best known for celebrating and slapping Ruud van Nistelrooy in the head after the Dutch forward missed a penalty against Arsenal. Defender Sergio Ramos Pepe's partner in crime, Sergio Ramos, is somehow even dirtier than his Real Madrid teammate. The Spaniard has amassed an incredible 19 red cards, and he's still only 29, so can break many more ankles yet. The World Cup and Champions League winner is an excellent player, but perhaps doesn't set the best example as captain. Defender Marco Materazzi You know Marco Materazzi is the guy who Zidane nutted in the World Cup final but the Italian defender was more often found dishing it out. With 14 red cards over a career mostly spent with Inter Milan, Materazzi was so badly behaved on the pitch that he was even shown committing fouls in Nike adverts. Midfielder Roy Keane Midfield hatchet man number one is Manchester United legend Roy Keane. The Irish pitbull loved a feud and had long-running battles with Patrick Vieira and Alfinger Haaland. Keane ruptured his ACL trying to foul Haaland once and held the grudge for over three years when he eventually got revenge and one of his ten red cards with a horror tackle. Midfielder Gennaro Gattuso Gennaro Gattuso made over 300 appearances for AC Milan and earned the nickname of The Rhino for his aggressive style. Highlights of his career include headbutting Tottenham coach Joe Jordan and backhanding Zlatan Ibrahimovic round the face. Oh, and he also won the World Cup and two Champions Leagues. Midfielder Nigel De Jong not everybody can say they've played in a World Cup final, and even fewer can say that they karate kicked someone in the chest during one. But Dutchman Nigel de Jong, aka the Lawnmower, aka the Destroyer, tried to jumpstart Xavi Alonso's heart with his size 10 during the 2010 final, somehow escaping a dismissal. And Alonso isn't his only victim, as de Jong has left a trail of corpses across Italy, Germany, England and the Netherlands over his 14-year career. Midfielder Mark van Bommel The Netherlands has a reputation for beautiful technical football, but clearly they breed hard bastards too as another Dutchman is next on our list. Mark van Bommel won eight league titles and a Champions League, but also picked up 12 red cards before he retired in 2013. He played for Barcelona and Bayern Munich in an undeniably successful career, and Christian Eriksen said of his bad behaviour, it's only annoying if you lose. Striker Luis Suarez how could this team survive without piranha-toothed psycho Luis Suarez? The Uruguayan has proved himself a genuine football genius at Liverpool and Barcelona, but he seems mentally unstable the rest of the time, as he's bitten opponents on three occasions, been banned for racist insults, and generally shown himself to be as good a cheat as a dribbler on his way to superstardom. Striker Diego Costa the nasty spearhead of our dirty side is Chelsea and Spain striker Diego Costa. They say you get the face you deserve, so when you look at Costa, you get an idea of his disciplinary record. The Blues man's total of eight red cards is astonishing when you consider that technically strikers don't need to make many challenges, and it's a testament to his commitment to bone-cracking mayhem that Costa is considered the most hated player in the Premier League. Subs Martin Skirtle Our first sub is Liverpool defender Martin Skirtle. He looks like a bouncer at a Russian casino, and the 18-yard box is his velvet rope. Within that area, you can suffer any indignity he chooses. Skirtle's main method of defending set pieces is the rugby tackle, and his studs have found a snug home in many a forward's shin. Somehow, the Slovakian has never received a straight red card, though he does have the second most own goals in Premier League history with seven. Patrick Vieira a truly wonderful player, Patrick Vieira was a midfield titan for Arsenal, Inter Milan and France, winning 107 caps, the World Cup and six league titles. 
but he also picked up 13 red cards and was known for being elbow happy in the challenge. Given his particular beef with Roy Keane, we decided that it's best to keep them apart, so Vieira is on the bench. Philippe Mexes Philippe Mexes is great to watch, but not always for the right reasons. The Milan defender has been nominated for the Pushkash Award for the best goal of the year, but has also punched Giorgio Chiellini and once started choking Lazio players during a game. With no major honours and 16 red cards, the Frenchman fully deserves a role in our squad. Manager Jose Mourinho A dirty team deserves a dirty boss, and they don't come more underhand than Jose Mourinho. The special one has eight league titles and two Champions Leagues, and a talent for insults and name-calling, labelling Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger a voyeur and a specialist in failure. He's willing to roll his sleeves up for some violence too, with his eye gouge on late Barcelona coach Tito Villanova a particular low point. However, haters got to enjoy him shitting himself in 2014 when Wenger was so enraged by the Portuguese manager's antics that he shoved Mourinho in the chest. So that was our dirtiest footballers 11, but did we miss anyone out? Let us know in the comments. And if you know more about the man dubbed to be the next Lionel Messi who could be joining Barcelona for 100 million euros, check out our transfer talk from Tuesday and as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe.